Hey guys, in today's video, we're checking out this little guy. This is a very small and tiny looper and tuner pedal by Licato. It is very tiny and probably one of the cheapest looping slash tuner pedals on Amazon. They do have a version that has just the looper that is I believe the cheapest on Amazon, but it fits, it's very tiny, it fits on your pedal board, very easy to use, and I'm gonna show you how it works and see if this is something that you can be interested in. There's a couple of cool features in this that I really like, and not one, but two of you are going to win one of these for yourself. Mikado was nice enough to send me three of these, one for me to keep, and two to give out to my subscribers. So I will be explaining how I will be doing that giveaway towards the end of this video. Before we get started, I post videos like this all the time, stuff on wireless, MIDI, gear reviews, in-ear monitors, finding cheap stuff for musicians on Amazon, stuff like that. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe and to ring the bell to be notified when I put out new videos. And hitting the thumbs up button is a free way to support the channel. All right, let's go ahead and get started and check this out. All right, so controls are very, very easy. So you can either charge it with a standard nine volt or with a micro USB cable, which is how I'm going to be doing it. Plug your guitar in. I'm gonna be using wireless to the input. Send it out to your audio interface, or your next pedal or your amp, wherever you're trying to send the signal to. Very, very basic. This is your main looper right here. I'm gonna show you in detail how that works here in a second. You do have this secondary button up here. So you can push that to cycle through three different loops. If you hold it for one second, you'll see that light turn on over there and that's gonna put you into sync mode, which again, I'll demo when I actually start looping. Hold it again for one second to turn it off. And if you hold it for three seconds, you get into a tuner. So it's really nice that they've included a tuner in here. This volume knob just controls the volume of the looping, not your input signal. And that is basically it on how you use it. For specs, a single loop recording time is six minutes. I highly doubt any of you are gonna be doing six minute loops, so that should be plenty. Number of overdubs is unlimited, and you get three different loops. And that's basically it. As far as pricing, this is currently listed at $49.99, so $50. Really good deal for a looper and tuner all in one. There is a Bluetooth pedal that goes with it if you want. That is about $28, and that is a way to go up and down the loops with an external Bluetooth foot switch. There is another version that doesn't have the tuner or the ability to change different loops. So if you do need just one button for looping, there is one that is a little bit cheaper as well. I personally do recommend spending about $10 more to get this one, but it just depends on what you need. Links to purchase both of those will be down in the description down below. Okay, you can see that I have the pedal set up now, and I'm going to be demoing this in my slippers. No judgment and no regrets. Very, very basic. So, you know, as I'm playing like a riff, push the button once to record. And you can see that red light turns on. Push it again and it'll play. And you can see that it is looping. I love that it gives you that blue indicator to let you know that it is looping. And you can see when the loop is over and when it starts. Very cool. Push the button again to overdub over it. And now that'll be part of the loop. Push it again, and now it's in. So you can see none of that recorded. Push it again, and it'll overdub again. Now I'm not very happy with that because obviously my rhythm sucked on that. So if I press and hold, it removes that last loop. So that crappy loop I just did is no longer in there. Press and hold it again, and it'll bring it back in. Very cool. Something else, the level, if I turn it down, that's just the level of the loop, but not the guitar, so watch. You can see my guitar, my main guitar is still the same. Put that, put that back to noon to erase it, or to stop it, double tap it, and now it's stopped. Push it again to bring it back in, to erase, double tap and hold, and now it is completely gone. And there you go. Those are the basics on how to use it. Okay, remember when I said I was gonna do all this in my slippers? For triggering the button on the side, it's actually really tough to do that. So I have switched to my sneakers. So again, to get to tuner mode, push and hold, push and hold for three seconds, and then you can see, so like my G, of course, G is always a little bit flat. Now I'm good. My D's a little sharp. Let's turn it down. 
And you can hear it actually mutes the audio, which is really nice. So you're picking up, you can probably hear me tuning from my mic, but it is not coming from the output. So it does mute it as well, which is really nice. So you can see pushing the button will switch between the three different loops. So you have three different options in there. Now if you hold it for one minute, see how that little light comes on on the side? So what it's doing right now, it's waiting for sound to come through. So as soon as I strum, it'll start recording. See how that light turned on? Go back to our old faithful loop. A little sloppy, but that's okay. Now if I go to loop two, I can switch to a different chord progression. Go back to one, and it will continue through it. Go back to two. This is kind of blue on black, but not quite, right? So now I have sync on, on three. And it what, and see how it started recording on number three. Now if I want to go back to number one. And now cycle through to number two. And of course, you still get all of your normal overdubs and play. So if I want to erase it, double tap and hold, and now it is erased. So that's how you can use all the different buttons. You can get a Bluetooth pedal to switch up and down between the banks. You could see that I am able to do this with the foot, so it's not the end of the world. Um, it is a little tough to hit. The toughest thing is probably hitting the sync button, but there you go. So that's basically how it works. So there you go. So it's a very basic looper pedal. I think it's very easy to use. I love that there's a tuner in it too. It takes up less room on your pedal board, which is really nice. It's a cool little device. It is a little tough to hit this button, but you can definitely hit it with your foot. So it's not the end of the world. I think pushing sync is the hardest thing to do because you have to hold it for just one second and then let go. That could be the only thing I could see kind of holding you up, but you're not really going to be doing advanced looping with this little guy. If you do want to do more advanced looping, I have two videos for you to check out. One is an app called Quanta Looper. That's a really cool looping app. That's actually the app that I use for my live looping. So it's definitely much more advanced. So check that out if you're interested in that. Or if you are interested, I do have a video as well on how to use Ableton to automatically loop if you're interested in that. I do that in this cover of Enjoy the Silence as well as in this video where I break down how I did that. So if you're interested in more advanced looping, check that out. But this is overall just a very basic looper for some basic looping if you just want to add it to like an acoustic set or something like that. I think this would actually work out really well. And there is that external foot switch if you do want to switch up and down between, you know, loop one, loop two, and loop three, if you do decide to go a little bit more advanced. So that is an option as well. Overall, I mean, you can't beat it for the price. It's very, very affordable. If you want to get into the world of looping, if you're doing this for just practice as well, it can be really great for figuring out guitar solos and stuff like that. So you can just loop and then figure out a guitar solo. So that's definitely a plus as well. So yeah, that's basically it. Like I said, two of you are going to win one of these systems. I want to thank Licato for sending me this product to check out. I've done multiple reviews on their products. It's not a paid video or anything like that. They did just send it to me to check out. I did ask them if they could send me a couple of other ones so I could give away to some of my subscribers. It's really cool to see the growth of the channel and I love being able to give back to you guys. So I sincerely appreciate it. So all you have to do to enter this contest is to one, you have to be a subscriber. So make sure you've subscribed if you haven't already. And then just leave a comment down below saying whatever you would like and you will be entered in to win the contest. The last couple of times I've just been doing the drawing in the video next week. I usually release videos on Tuesdays right now. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to release either on Sunday or Monday. I'm going to do a shorts. I'm going to do a shorts video 
where I do a drawing and see who wins. Don't fall for scammers. I will never ask you for money in order to send you these products. So that's basically it. Thank you guys again for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, do me a favor, just hit the thumbs up button. It does a ton to help out the channel, so I would appreciate it. Again, purchase links are down in the description down below. They are Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't cost you anything to use those links, but it does help support this channel so I can do more videos like this. So I would appreciate it. Check out some of my other videos. I've reviewed a ton of products by Licato, including the cheapest wireless in-ear monitor system, some cheap wireless guitar systems as well. Their 5.8 system is really good. Uh, so check out some of those videos by clicking the links on your screen now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages at Scott Yule Music on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, mostly on Instagram. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you again for Licato for sending me this product. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.